Hello, my friends. Today we're going to be talking about using the image trace option in Adobe Illustrator. Image trace allows you to take a raster or a bitmap graphic, which is what I've given you for some of these today, in order to flip it to something that is vectored. We know it's a raster graphic because it is made up of pixels. These are those small squares that are color that create the optical illusion of an image as opposed to vectors, which are the objects based on mathematics. In this worksheet, you'll see that I've given you a locked layer of instruction, but I've given you all the images that you're gonna need today so that you don't have to add in images yourself. At the top of each box, I've also told you the type of image trays I'm looking for for you to do. Whenever you add images yourself, however, one of the things that you should note is under the properties panel, you do have to embed them. So I'm gonna unembed this one just so you can see what that would look like. When you embed an image, I apologize, it's gonna do something a little different than what I had meant for it to do. When you put an image in here, it's gonna come in with an X over the image. And then underneath your properties panel, under your quick actions, there'll be an image or an option, excuse me, called embed. You have to embed your images into Illustrator before you can do things like image trace them, manipulate them, change them, because they need to be stored in the actual project file and not being sourced from wherever you saved it on your computer. That's kind of like a shortcut and we don't want that. So I've already embedded these for you because I couldn't give them to you unless they were embedded. Underneath my properties panel, you'll see one of the quick actions is the image trace option. It also appears up here because I have an image option bar and there's an image trace option right here as well, along with some other options which are kind of neat like crop an image. You can actually crop images in Adobe Illustrator, which is a really neat feature if you are creating or using raster images in the program. For today though, we're just going to be talking about image tracing. The top, as I said, are going to be the ones that I want you to use because there are some custom defaults that are already set or, pre, or tracing presets. And one of them, for example, is called 16 color. And that's the first one I'm going to use. Sometimes it's going to take a second for the program to analyze the image, analyze all the colors, and then create the objects with the image trace. So now if I zoom in, you'll see that I have objects instead of pixels. Now this is still one united group of objects and because now my option up here has changed to expand and it's up here as well. When I expand something, now I have the ability to actually manipulate the individual pieces by going into isolation mode. This is a grouped object and I'll show you how I know it's grouped is underneath layers, see where it says group? I can double click and now I can actually change things, manipulate it if I wanted to completely recolor this sky and make it like different and funky. I don't have to keep the colors that the computer decided I should keep. I can straight up manipulate these any way I want to to create anything I want. This gives us a lot of versatility when doing a lot of things. I personally use this to sketch out logos or images and then I'll bring it in and image trace it to be able to manipulate it, things like that. The other ones in here are shades of gray and low fidelity. So I just want you to try those and see what happens when you use those. There is a difference, please remember, between black and white and shades of gray. Shades of gray is gonna be white and everything in between to black where black and white will be strictly black and strictly white. Number four and number six, I am going to go through and show you because it does have some different instructions for you. So we are going to image trace this and I'm going to click it over, over here and it's asked me to choose sketched art. Once I've done that, you're going to see it's not really usable for what it is we're wanting to do. So I'm going to click right here. This is going to open my image trace panel. You can open it there or you can go to window image trace to pull up other options. With Illustrator, pretty much everything has other options, including image tracing. So I'm gonna switch this mode from black and white to grayscale, and I want you to see what happens when I do that. It's gonna adjust my image trace, and it's going to add those shades of gray back in. So now it's way more usable. I can also decide if I want less gray, which every time we make an adjustment, it's gonna take a second or I can choose to add more gray, which is gonna give you a lot more shading options and things like that. This just allows you to create some really, really nice drawings on paper and then bring them into the program to manipulate them. 
You also have a color option. My image that I gave you is not in color, so I don't need to use the color, but that is a really good thing if you did happen to sketch in color. Number six has a similar set of directions. So we're gonna image trace, and this time we are going to do line art. And again, I'm gonna use my image trace panel. I've already got it pulled up, which is great. I don't have to pull it back up again. And I'm gonna adjust the threshold to 200. You'll see that this kind of doesn't look very clean. It doesn't look very clear. So by adjusting this to 200, I'm gonna move the threshold up. That's gonna give me more detail, more accuracy, things like that. And you'll see it's still not beautiful. It's not great, um, but you can kind of play here with some of these other things, I can add more paths, I can add more corners, I can add less corners and create some other things that'll give me some more choices. The other thing is I have it set to stroke, but you could have it set to fill. And if you wanted to get objects, shapes rather than paths to work with. So you've got a lot of choices in here and this will give you some nice versatility. The other thing I want you to practice with is how do we actually use something that's been image traced and manipulated. I've got the directions up here for you, but I'm going to run through just the basics real quick for you. I'm going to start by image tracing this first, and my directions say to use a black and white, or it says it is a black and white, and I'm going to use black and white because that one makes the most sense because it is a black and white image. It's not sketched. It's just a clean looking black and white object then I have to make sure that I click expand. If you don't expand this, you won't be able to color yours like I've colored mine. Please ensure that when you're coloring yours, you're not matching mine. I want you to make it your own. On the quick actions, one of the options I have is isolate group. If I click isolate group, now I have the ability to click on individual objects here. And I'm gonna open up my swatches panel and I'm just gonna start coloring. You can hold down your shift key if you wanna grab multiple objects to color simultaneously. I can also hold down my option key if I wanna, I'm sorry, my command key to select through different things. But what I'd like for you to do is go through here and kind of give yourself some fun colors on this. You, they don't have to be a balanced, but you can if you want to. I tend to be a little bit more of a balanced by nature person. But I'd like you to color, I'm going to say... 85 to 90 percent of this just so that you can get some practice kind of manipulating things be careful though when you hover over certain things because some things are a larger group than others you can also do gradients on these if you want to so i've got a couple of uh, default gradient swatches in here so you can color things with new gradients you can put strokes on things if you would like to but i want you to just kind of have some fun doing some coloring if you get done early, there is advanced image trace options available for you that you can manipulate and play with to continue your practice. Make sure you save it when you're all done and turn it in. Thanks.